virtual reality. Chloe from Owning Manhattan, we are so excited you're here. It's already our favorite interview because Sadie's also here. How is the season two announcement going? It's been insane. You know, I I feel like we had such a great reaction from the audience, but then you're like, wait, did they like us? Like, are you sure? And I, I'm so glad we got the green light because like we were a little nervous there for a second. Not really. Yeah. Like, I just think, you know, just yeah, being just dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, it was honestly like a hit from the jump, which I'm sure was so exciting for Ryan, so exciting for you and the rest of your castmates. What what was your reaction when you saw it was like number one on Netflix in 27,000 different countries? It's so exciting and so overwhelming in the best way. This has been a labor of love project. We've been working on this for almost two years from beginning of casting to getting it made to it being released. So I feel like once it was out in the world, we were like, fingers crossed, will people like it? And then when people loved it and we were, you know, in all the charts, we were like, this is the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Hopefully we get to keep doing yes. it and showing our stories. It's so fun. Well, I feel because that's like the fun element of it when you're kind of like, okay, we're seeing all these like gorgeous apartments and homes and everything like that in Manhattan. But then you have the characters of it, which is so fun because it's probably really cool to showcase for better or for worse all the dynamic relationships and things y'all got going on there because it seems like a party and also a party might want to Irish goodbye sometimes. 100%. Yeah. It's really the good, bad, and the ugly. Yeah. Not to quote Jess M, but it's the <laughs> truth. <laughs> uh, I, well, going back to casting, obviously there's a bajillion agents, it seems, at Sirhan. Hello. Um, and I'm wondering what the casting process was like. Was it like a, a fight to the death? Was it competitive? Like... How did I that think, work out? I think this is where people got confused mm -hmm. and people were like, wait, is this fake? You know, was it cast? Is they're actors. But the thing is, we're all real real estate agents. It's yeah. very easy to verify, but it's a large company. I mean, when we started, I was one of the first, you know, 10 people there, but now there's like over 300 agents. Of course, everyone wants to be on the show. Yeah. So there was definitely a process where we all had to, you know, put ourselves on camera for producers. They mm -hmm. had to get to know us. And then, you know, the cast changed quite a few times oh. until we got to this iteration of it. And yeah, it was, it was not just, you know, boop, 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 boop. There was a whole song and dance we had to do. Ooh, okay. Well, I mean, you have a theater background, so you know how to song and dance. I mean, I was ready from day yes. one. I yeah. mean, day zero, yes. I mean, day zero. <laughs> Wait, I was born ready. Is it something happening like after like the show was cast, all the great like feedback and everything? Were there any coworkers, you don't have to name them, that are kind of like, Chloe, why do we never talk? Because they want to try to like get on the second season. Um, <laughs> and do you enjoy that? Yeah, and that's really, I feel like people don't mess with me because I have like such a good bullshit reader. Oh, so yeah. like, I think people kind of, and also I just gave birth. So I feel like people, I don't know, I'm just a Lulu. I'm just like, everyone's calling me to congratulate on the baby. They're just checking in. I mean, now that you say that, maybe. Uh, yeah, okay. See, I trust nobody, maybe. so that's always on our thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, my bullshit reader's so great. I'm like, I'm I'm delusional, yeah. <laughs> actually. Uh, Jade, we gotta yes. talk about Jade. Yes. Uh, it's like a, a best frenemy ship that I think is just perfect for reality television. I know Watch What Happens Live really ignited the reality TV lover inside of me because you were feuding right there behind the and bar. And we told Ryan about that because he came in the day after. He was like, I didn't see this. You gotta watch this clip. <laughs> well, when you boldly accused her of faking her split for a storyline, I was like, whoa, she, she really went there. So I know things are up and down. Things yes. are constantly in flux. But how are y'all today? Mm -hmm. And do you still believe she faked her divorce for a storyline? Okay, here's the thing. And I do you have like, receipts? Do I you gotta have like receipts? Ooh, I gotta like stretch out okay, for this okay. Pilates okay. now. <laughs> here's the deal with the whole thing. At the time, I really thought she was trying to pull a scandal. Mm. That was like right when it was all happening. Mm. Ariana was like blowing up and I love Jade, but you wouldn't put it past Jade to do that. Mm. And it wasn't just me. It was like the entire cast, some of the producers, there's so many scenes that were cut of like mm -hmm. other cast members trying to be like, so what happened? When when did this happen? The timelines were a little muddy. There were a, a couple things there that to me, I was like Inspector Gadget, like boop, 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 boop. I was like, that doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense, the timeline. So my head was just like spiraling in those moments. And I just felt like if you're really my best friend, you wouldn't be trying to pull one over me right now. Mm -hmm. And that's how I really felt at the time. And I think my emotions really got the best of me because I was like, you're gonna drop this on me on camera so many months after this happened. 
And you're also going to say, you didn't tell me because you don't trust me. And they cut out parts of her calling me a liar. And I'm just like this. I just felt so betrayed. But I will say, I will say looking back, regardless of what the real story was, all the ins and outs, she was, makes me emotional. She was a friend of mine who was really hurting. Mm -hmm. And she just needed me to be there for her, Mm -hmm. regardless of all the bullshit. Mm -hmm. And watching it back was so devastating for me to watch. And we, I thought we were good, in a good place. And then it all started again. There was like Daily Mail articles she put out. And then I was like, maybe I shouldn't have trusted you. And it started over again. Yeah. But I think we've sat down and we're like, look, like we are, we mean so much to each other. We have to get to a better place. We have to be more honest and truthful and go forward. I love that. Yeah. And do you feel like that scene maybe would have gone differently because you were there were other people in the room and everything like that where you kind of were like wait why am I the last to know also in this room like what's that like if you guys were just more one on one it maybe would have been smoother yeah, sailing yeah maybe I just think there was so much about it that just felt like it was tr- it was she was trying to produce something mm. and maybe she wasn't like maybe that really was what happened but like like I said it happened so many months before we started shooting that it just didn't feel real I felt like she was trying to pull one over my head and mm. I was pissed looking back on it are you kind of like, okay, if you were doing that, if you were trying to produce, and it was all for the greater good of the show, mm-hmm. props to you, baby girl. Like, is, do you have that perspective at all? She's an evil genius, and <laughs> I'm obsessed with her for it. Like, she really is. And so, yeah, totally. Yeah. And it made for amazing TV, and maybe I should have just been more game. I just, that's not my personality. You see, I just, like, I say what I feel. Mm. I'm very, you know, direct and honest with, I don't pre-plan a lot of things. Yeah. That's not, like, what I'm used to, but, like, Maybe I should be. No, but I I feel like (laughs) the honesty and the directness and your resistance to her alleged production moment, Mm -hmm. I think that is what made for great TV. Yeah, 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 it's like how, I don't know if you watched the last season of the the Roni reboot. Uh It's why everyone fell in love with Jessel Tank because they're like, she's just going out there (laughs) doing herself. Like, people could be in her ear. She's like, I'm just going to do what I want to do. And it worked. Yeah, so whatever. You'll see more of me just being me. (laughs) Will we see (laughs) y'all like sitting down, hanging out? Like, how is the friendship? Yeah, I think we have to have a real conversation. Mm -hmm. And I want there actually to be kin. And I think we have to sit down and have a real conversation. And I actually want there to be cameras there so that it's like, this is real for the both Mm -hmm. of us. We are going to move forward. How are we going to do this? And not only are you and I here, we have everyone as a witness of how we are going to move forward together. Mm. Yeah. That's, no backsies. <laughs> that's great. Ooh, okay, that's, that's great. great yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you know what I also love, speaking of moving forward, I love how everyone is seemingly able to move forward with Jess M after she was talking some smack on that podcast that seemingly got Jonathan fired. I I mean, I, that firing scene was amazing right there on the, the top of the world between Ryan and Jonathan. I, I wonder, do you fault Jess M for any of it and, and the smack talking? Like, how do you, do you think she should have been fired? Ooh, like, or maybe did she take more accountability? Such a good question. My thoughts on Jem, Jem, my thoughts on <laughs> Jess M are the following. I really did not like the bitch at the time. Okay. I was like, you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Like, how do you not see the red flags? They're like literally the biggest red flag in mm-hmm. front of your face, Jonathan. And I was just like, what is happening? And then the podcast happened, and I was like, girl, like, mm -mm, like, get her out of here. Like, you know, get the cane, get her off. Uh. But I will say, she really took accountability. She was like, listen, like, I screwed up. I did, and I'm owning it. I'm going to put my head down, and I'm going to get to work. And Uh. she has, and she's killing it. And I respect her. I, she's really grown on me, that one. She's grown yeah. on okay. me. That's good to know, because mm-hmm. you. it's good that you, it's the maternal instinct of you to, like, sure. forgive, and that she was just in the wrong crowd and everything like that because I feel like if someone did a podcast just trashing me I'd be like good night or every time they would come over I'd be like I would just replay my part (laughs) (laughs) that's actually a really good idea don't give any of us ideas oh you guys are you guys are a problem (laughs) it's all really good Uh, well Jonathan obviously he got fired Mm -hmm. I think everyone is wondering anticipating will he be a part of the next season when we talked to Ryan about it he seemed open to the idea of it would you welcome him back into the mix given what he said about everyone i mean i didn't get to do any scenes with jonathan that's so true let me out yeah. yeah i have some things to say what's your what's the he, number one thing you want to say to him right now if he if he was right here with sadie me and danny you look like a boy who negotiated his way onto planet earth i'm gonna need you to sit down stop talking put the helmets 
We understand, we understand you ride a motorcycle, but I'm gonna need you to put the helmet down, zip your lips, and listen. Like, we gotta go over your whole life choices. Ooh, what, what did you think of his choice to claim that he masterminded his firing oh. from Sir Han like, like he did, thought he was Taylor Swift. Do you, yeah. The boys in this show, first Niall, I don't know if you saw, but he's like saying, oh, I, I purposely lost the pitch, you know, for Chloe. And now Jonathan saying mm. he masterminded this firing boy. Mm. I, someone should have pushed you off that. No, that's <laughs> terrible to say. No, 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 no we're not gonna, yeah. we're not, but I'm just saying like, it's so crazy. I mean, Jade, maybe. Yeah. Jonathan, no. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have the evil genius bones in them. Correct. Yes, okay, yes, that is very, very true. Wait, but I love that you could like have all these sit down moments. I feel you almost could be like a reality TV guide to all these people. And like, you're like, this is what you have to do to fix your life and change your life. And we heard you're an OC fan of Housewives. Should I start? Oh, I am. I, yes. I'm, I met Shannon Bedore doing Watch What Happens Live. Oh, yeah. We fell in love. I helped her daughter, Sophie, find an apartment here in New stop, York. Oh, stop. Wait, oh, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, oh, she just moved. Oh, she just moved. And, you know, we did all of our dinners. I'm here with Dylan, one of my business partners. Oh. And, you know, we love Shannon. We are team Shannon. She's winning this She's season. winning. She really is. Yeah. And, you know, she was so nervous about it. And I just, I love that woman. And... Yeah. God bless. It's so funny because I really, she probably was very nervous going into the season with like the DUI and then Alexis and John and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But just with every single episode, I feel like she's being even more and more endeared to the to the audience. What are your thoughts on the whole John and Alexis of it all? <sighs> John just sounds like the worst. And I'm just so happy for her that she's not with John. And how dare Alexis be like, string this in her face like dangling it on this carrot of it's just like girl get your get a life go you know do whatever it is that you do like enough it's like she's trying to keep sticking it to shannon and shannon's like i want to move on yeah, yeah i know i feel it's a thing where everyone where emily a lot this season is like if they're so happy why are they why are they just in the sunset together why i know i think he i don't know i think he like wants the storyline i don't know i don't get it i think you know yeah. team shannon a million percent oh. Well, that. speaking of Bravo, mm -hmm. I do want to get your take on Mr. Josh Flagg out here talking about these Netflix real estate agents. He had a lot to say about the Selling Sunset cast in particular. I, he, for, for many years, he has been accusing the Selling Sunset cast of not being actual real licensed real estate agents. I think we can verify records like on, yeah. on the MLS. Like we, we can see that they are and that the they've MLS. sold. Like what, what are your thoughts on Josh Flagg coming for these Netflix realtyzers? Well, Josh and I go to the same temple oh. in LA. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So you gotta keep it. I've never cute. met him personally. <laughs> okay, okay. But I don't want to piss off We're my rabbi sweet. or anything. Yeah. <laughs> um, however That'd be fun for season two though. Yeah, you know, you never know. Um <laughs> I did get a huge building once through my rabbi and then I stalked the developer. It was a whole thing, a oh, whole song wait. and dance. All right, temple. Yeah. Wait, and also, I mean you don't have to say nothing yeah. that the rabbi gave it to you and not Josh. He didn't give it to me. He oh. was like oh, you um, saw he it. was like, Oh, there's actually a developer that goes to my temple. I was like, Who is it? Like you have to tell me and I like flew to LA. It's a whole thing. Wow. I got the building wow. though. Yeah. It was Sounds a like thing. an episode. Yeah, yeah, seriously. I'm like, hello. Um but what were we talking about? Oh, Josh with the Netflix aid. <laughs> oh yeah, look. I think Josh comes from, you know, million dollar listing world, mm -hmm. which I think we are more in where we, you know, we are real agents. It's more about the business, I think, than the glitz and glam. But like, they're all agents too. It's very easy to verify, you know, like just boop, boop, boop. You have Google, yeah. you can see their agents. They may not do as many deals. Josh does so many deals. Mm -hmm. Ryan, they all do. So maybe not on the same level, mm -hmm. but they did their two-week course, okay? They got yes. their license. Yes, they they showed their ID. They did the boo boo boo. They're in the nine inch heels going to work. Hello. <laughs> Wait, but that's a, do you have any like have you had any communication with like Josh at all about like the show or anything? We've actually I, never met. I, I, wait, because okay. I see you and Tracy go back and forth. I was like looking at that, like she like Okay. I love a Tracy Tudor. It's and like ass. that I don't fangirl that often, do I? Okay, maybe a little bit. But when she started liking my stuff and I was like, the queen, mm. her and Bethany Frankel. I'm like, Bethany added me on TikTok at one point. I like, Stop. I literally had a nervous oh, breakdown. I was so excited. That's you have like to spiritual. have chicken salad with her. Was, yeah. I, re I really do. Yeah. The girl yeah. knows a thing or two about chicken salad. <laughs> but then also Tracy Tudor on Instagram. I was like, oh my God, what a moment. I love her. Oh my God. You That's need to take a, because Bethany's always in the real estate game. That would be. Bethany. Bethany. Oh. Hey girl. Call Chloe. <laughs> truly. Truly. Call yeah. Sadie. Call Sadie. Yeah. dogs too. Yeah, there we go. Really work it out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Chloe, well, thank you so much. This was so fun chatting. So fun. We cannot wait for season two. Skies, same. Same, yeah. same, same. It's going to be, it's probably going to be, it's going to be wild.